Hi everyone, Tarekith here, and today I want to review the Strymon Timeline Delay Pedal. Um, you can see it here on my acoustic guitar board, uh, although for the purposes of this review, uh, the other pedals are bypassed. You're only hearing the Strymon Timeline. Um, and today, instead of using a guitar to actually be feeding uh, the pedal, I'm using uh, my Teenage Engineering OP-1. Uh, just something a little different than the average guitar tones people might be used to hearing in these kinds of reviews. Um, here you can hear what it sounds like just plain with no delay. Just pretty basic little plucky sound to show off what this delay pedal can do. Um, to start with the connections, uh, there's stereo input and outputs. Um, both are balanced if you want. There's also MIDI in and out, which is great because you can sync the pedal to any external hardware you might have. Um, in addition, this pedal has a built-in looper, and there's some functions you can only access via MIDI, like reverse and halftime speed. So that is definitely very handy. Uh, there's 12 different delay types, or different models, if you will, built into the timeline. Um, D-tape and D-bucket are like digital bucket and tape delays. Um, there's a standard clean digital model, um, like a dual stereo pan model. Um, we have a pattern mode, which has like uh, patterns, pattern repeats. And I think there's like 10 or 12 different patterns uh, inside the timeline that you can play with. There is a reverse delay, an ice delay. Um, ice delay is kind of interesting, one of my favorite ones. And uh, I'll show that off quite a bit here in a few minutes. Um, a duck delay, a swell delay, so the delays slowly swell up. Um, great for ambient kind of things. Uh, a tremolo delay, which is like an extremely modulated delay type. Um, a filter delay, and a very dirty, grungy lo-fi delay. Um, one of the nice things about this pedal is that not only are there a lot of different delay types, um, they actually sound quite a bit different, so there's a huge variety of delays you can get out of just this pedal. Uh, one nice thing is that they all share the same controls on the front panel, though. Um, there's a value encoder for programming. Uh, a time encoder for setting the delay time, either in milliseconds or BPM. Um, you can specify that per patch or globally. Um, there is a knob for setting how many repeats for all the, the, excuse me, how many repeats for the delays. A mix knob. Uh, there's a filter knob, which usually is a low-pass filter, so the delays get progressively darker um, as they repeat. Um, just be aware that the filter knob is kind of backwards from what most synthesizers are used to, um, and that the delay is fully closed when the knob is in the all the way in the clockway, clockwise position. So a little opposite from synthesizers, but not a big deal. Um, there's a grit parameter, which can kind of dirty up the delays. Um, both the filter and the grit knobs actually can vary quite a bit in what they do based on the delay models. Um, out of all the knobs, these two are the ones that, uh, that change the most depending on what, you're, what model you're using. And then finally, um, you can modulate the delays as well, and you can control the speed of modulation and the depth of modulation. So all of these parameters work the same for all the models. Um, in addition, some of the models have a lot more parameters um, hidden in the menu structure, um, which you can access by pressing uh, this value knob, and you can go through all the different parameters for each model and set them um, before you save uh, your preset as you want. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how this thing sounds. Uh, the first one I'm going to go ahead and do is just go through some of the presets I've created. Um, this first one uses the the ICE algorithm, which I like a lot. Uh, it reminds me a lot of my uh, Boss Terra Echo pedal, which I was a big fan of. This cool kind of pitch shifting going on at the same time. Um, really great for ambient and kind of trippy sounds. It works well with synthesizers, uh, although I use it all the time with the guitar too. Um, I was really happy to see this was included uh, with the timeline because, um, like I said, I used to have a Boss Terra Echo that I sold, and uh, this gives me almost that exact same sound with a lot, lot more configurability. So, very cool sounding delay types. Um, let's see, here's another version of that. Let's try another preset. One thing that's really cool about the timeline is that you can set it so the delay types will actually kind of fade out when you switch patches, um, which is pretty cool. And Strymon does this a unique way in that they actually sample continuously the last five seconds of whatever delays are happening. So if you switch patches, it instantly switches to that sampled loop and just repeats it as it fades out. Um, it's a pretty neat trick and uh, it comes in very handy if you want you know, nice organic program changes between your delay types. Um, this patch uses the uh, dual delay, and this one actually creates kind of a cool reverb sound. There's almost like some organ modulation going on there. Pretty neat. Uh, here's another one with the ice, 
ice delay parameter, what can I say, I like this one a lot. You could get lost for days in that, lots and lots of fun. Uh, here's another one using reverse reverb effect. Uh, this one uses the uh, tremolo delay type. Uh, here's the a good example of the lo-fi effect. You can hear there's quite a bit of variety in these. I mean, the, the effects types don't sound similar at all, um, which is great as far as I'm concerned. Uh, here's another one with the uh, filter effect type. I think I'm still working on that one. Sounds like a wet fart right now. <laughs> Uh, here's one with the pattern delay, so you can hear some of the patterns sound like. So you can hear there's different uh, delay pattern types you can choose from. I've actually found that the uh, the pattern delay works great on drum loops. I mean, it does some really cool like rhythmic functions that adds just a touch of feel to your drum loops that you might not expect. So um, this is more than just like a guitar pedal. I think this is actually a very, very flexible studio delay. Um, the sound quality is phenomenal. The, the, it's hard to actually get across in this video here, I'm sure, but um, the stereo imaging is so precise and there's almost no noise in unit at all. So, I mean, this is like a high quality studio effect, just happens to be packaged um, in a nice compact pedal. Um, one of the things I do like about the pedal too is, is it not only looks sharp, I mean it's a nice looking pedal, the, the case is finished nicely, it's, it's all solid metal, um, all the knobs are actually bolted to the chassis, not just to the PCB board, so I mean it feels like it's going to last for a very, very long time. It's a super sturdy um, delay pedal, and uh, even though it's one of the more expensive delays out there, I think it's well worth the money. Um, there's a ton of different effects on this, it's easy to program, it sounds great, um, it has built-in parameters for boosting the signal, um, you can hook up a foot switch to it, I'm sorry, a, a pedal if you want, so you can control parameters with the pedal. Um, you can assign multiple parameters for the pedal, um, so there's just a ton of live use potential for this as well. Um, like I said, this is one of the more expensive delays I've, I've, I've personally bought, but given the amount of flexibility, how much storage is in here, um, just the sheer variety of different delay types, um, it's really hard not to recommend this. Um, I can't wait to get this on the road and start using this in some of my live sets. Um, so that's just a quick overview. I know it's just a delay pedal. There's not a whole lot of functionality I need to cover in this, but um, if there's questions out there about what this thing can do or if people want some more audio examples, just let me know in the comments and I will do my best to get on that right away. Uh, so yeah, that's the review of the Strymon Timeline and uh, probably my favorite delay right now, both hardware or software. Thanks for watching and I hopefully have some more reviews soon.